Oh, here we go. All right. Three, two, one. Boom, and welcome to the Big Honker Podcast brought to you by Boss Shot Shells. I'm Jeff Stanfield. I'm Andy Shaver. Pick Big em. fucking week for my Packers. Yep, you got a two-game lead on me, too. You picked the national championship game. I picked the other guys, so. I did pick the national championship? Yeah, you picked How Bama. How were we on scores? Were we even close on any no, of that bullshit? No, you had Bama pretty close. You had him like 49-21 or something. But not none of the other no. shit we were even No, even the close Redskins on. gave freaking the Bucks a game. Yeah, they did. <clears throat> okay, let's go and start. And old Hinky, Hinky, or whatever the fuck his name is. He played a good game. He did play a good game. Now Urban Meyer is coach of the Jags. A lot of shit moving and shaking. He's yeah. got Trevor Lawrence. There's, I mean. They think, you know, this Deshaun Watson deal, they don't know if he's going to. Now San Francisco is where he wants to go. Miami wants him. Heard the Redskins. There's a lot of, there's going to be a lot of changes going on there. Um, <coughs> it's going to be interesting to I see what still, happens. I still don't see Houston trading Deshaun they Watson should. to a division. A division. They don't rival. have nothing. They don't even have no draft. Picks. I understand you can trade them, but don't trade them to a, a, a division rival. Is all that is all that I'm saying. I trade them to Washington. I wish they would. Because well, Washington, yeah, Washington's, Washington's not a, a quarterback rival. away. Away. They got a good defense. They need one receiver. They got a good tight end. They'd be right in the middle of it. Okay, let's talk about the first game. First game is your Green Bay Packers oh. and the Los Angeles Rams. Packers are six and a half point favorites. I'm taking the Packers all day, all day, every day. I, I'm, I don't see anybody beating them in the NFC right now. They're playing good. I, I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, get ahead of my skis here, as we say on the mountain, Jeff. They have the best player in football, Devontae Adams. Yes. If Devontae Adams gets off against Jalen Ramsey, it's going to be a good day. If Jalen Ramsey shuts him down, I don't know. It'll be interesting. I'm going to go with my Packers. Um, lots to be excited for, though. I mean, you win this week, and then you get uh, Old Man River either way. Yeah, I'm taking I'm taking the Packers. Second, Packers. The second game <clears throat> is Cleveland at Kansas City. And – I don't know how you can pick against the Chiefs. I can't. I'm taking Cleveland. I mean, I'm taking Kansas City. You taking Cleveland? You know, did you know Baker Mayfield's thrown one interception in the last four weeks? They're pissed. Odell Beckham not being there is the best thing happened to that football team. I think so, too. He's a cancer. Big-time cancer. Uh, but next summer, you'll be like, I wish the Packers had signed Odell. <laughs> no, they got Devontae. Um, I, 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 I like uh, – it was a big win last week. They mollywhopped the the Steelers. Yes, I they mean, did. It was just a thumping. I, you can't go against the Chiefs. So you're but take... but if the Browns pull this off, it'll be the greatest upset in football history. The Browns do one thing really good, and that's run the ball. Yeah, they are very good at running the ball. But I think I think Kansas City has them. Okay, the other NFC game is I didn't bring my paper, so I'm trying to think. Tom right. Brady it's and Tom uh, Drew Brady. Bruce. Against the Saints. Number, it's hard to beat a team three times in a, in a I'm year. I'm taking New Orleans. I can't stand Tom Brady no more. TB12. I figured that's who he's going to take. TB12, baby. It's hard to beat a team three times in one it, year. It is. And I'm going to take, okay, another game. Y'all see us in here doing a podcast? What are they watching doing? Watching videos over there? Is that you, Blake? What are you doing? Is that Tony? I think it's Blake. I can hear his video in the background. Do you want me to tell a certain story about you? On air? No. Then please turn your video off. Thank you. You can come over and tell it yourself. Would you want to tell it yourself? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> what's the other game? Baltimore, Baltimore and Buffalo. And Buffalo. I'm, I'm sticking with the Bills. I've got the Bills going to the Super Bowl. I'm taking Buffalo again. Buffalo. I just think Jared Allen's just too so much. So we've only differed on one game? Yes. We won't differ on much no more. You're going to pick Tampa Bay every week, and I'm going to pick whoever's playing Tampa Bay every week. Not if they not not if not if Tampa Bay wins and Green Bay wins. Then we'll go, I'm going to go. I'm going to go Green Bay next. No, week. then I might take Tampa Bay then, just to get ahead. No, because they match up really well with Green Bay. Teams have certain teams they match up really well with, and <clears throat> Baltimore doesn't match up well with Kansas City. Tampa Bay. Matches up real well with Green Bay. What's going on with Kareem Hunt? There's been a big kerfluffle between him and Kansas City. Oh, I don't know. I didn't know nothing about that. Oh, it's big time. Oh, I haven't been uh, watching. Evidently, the news he's at all. like he's going back and forth with 
Patrick Mahomes and Sammy Watkins and all those guys. Well, I don't know what's going on. I, he kicked I don't a woman, know. so do we really expect a lot from him? He runs the ball very good. He is good. He's a damn good running back. Really, really, really good. Listen, we've all got we've got all got skeletons in our. Oh, closet. he's got a big one there. It's run, not in run the, the closet. Ball, run the ball. And, <laughs> had Ray Rice still been able to run the ball, motherfucker would still have a job. He probably would. You're probably had right. Had he not fallen off, had he not been on the decline, listen, teams can get over a lot of shit. Are you the crane whisperer after today? Should have limited cranes this morning. No. No, you're still in the crane whisperer? No. I was just lucky. Two more weeks to go. Two more weeks. We've had a good week this week. So, anyways, I appreciate everybody for listening to you What y'all. do you think? What were we talking about the other day? Joe Namath? How the fuck is he a Hall of Fame quarterback? The standards were different back then. How many? What's his TD to interception rate? It's like 130 uh, TDs to 260 interceptions. It was pretty bad. It was horrible. What the fuck? He's a Hall and of Fame. And then somebody like Phillip Rivers is going to be questionable to be in the Hall of Fame and has got a lot better numbers than Joe Namath ever did. A lot better. I don't know if Phillip if, Rivers goes in. Uh, look at the really deals. They put Drew Pearson in the Hall of Fame there to date his numbers. He is a number two receiver for most teams nowadays at the most. Right. But the, the numbers were different back then, and that's what they'll go by. I don't even know if Rivers gets in. I don't know if he does either. But if he his, does, it's going to be about skin. I don't think he's not a, he's not a first ballot. Yeah, it's getting to be about Super Bowls. Um, we're fixing to have a big drop-off in quarterbacks because we're fixing to lose Roethlisberger, Rivers, Breeze, and Brady. That whole generation. <clears throat> that whole is gone. They're about done, and they've played a long time, longest than, longer than any other generation of quarterbacks ever played. I mean, you push it out five years, and, you know, you go past five years, you got rid of Rodgers, most likely. Yep. Um Brady, Bra- Rivers. Bra- Rogers, Brady, Rivers. Russell Wilson. Breeze, Russell Wilson probably in five years is gone. Um, Roethlisberger is going to be gone. Uh, but that whole that whole class is getting getting shoved out. Now yep. you got Baker Mayfield, Lamar he's, Jackson. He's the oldest of the quarterbacks in the AFC that are still playing. Yeah, they're saying the NFC <clears throat> quarterbacks are basically all old men. All old guys. Huh? Oh, Urban Meyer's going to draft Trevor Lawrence He'll if they don't Trevor, trade him. Trevor Lawrence. Unless he trades for Deshaun Watson. The Texans are not going to trade Deshaun Watson in their division. It's I, not going to happen. It happens I'm all not the time. saying that. When? There's been lots of in their division. Green Bay would not give Favre to, to Minnesota. He had to go to the Jets and get well, released. There's been lots of trades They're like that. They're not going to trade him uh, we'll in the see. division. We'll see. If I was the Texans, I'd be trying to get the best shit I can get of for course. him. Because they're going to be a 3-13 and 13 team next year, 4-12. and 12. I think he gets traded. <clears throat> I'm not arguing with you there, but it's not going to be to the Jaguars. And I think about six, seven, eight, ten weeks ago, we had the same conversation. You told me I was lost. I was on crack when I said they should trade you to Sean Watson. It was me, you, and Logan Pyatt well, talked about it. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. When? Me, you, when we had Logan on the podcast, when he was our guest speaker. picker, and It I wasn't said, about Deshaun Watson. Yes, it was. Oh, and it I wasn't. said the Texans should trade Deshaun Watson. And you go, are you, are you high? That's what you told me. Go back and look it up. Because you said there's no way they trade him. I go, why would they not? They're out of it. They've lost all their players already. They have no trade, no draft the, picks. There's a difference because he wants out now. I he wants out. He's a cancer on the team. So, yeah, they're going to trade him now because he's a he's a plague. Miami is the best trade for them if they can get the 3, the 18, and Tua. That's a no-brainer for them. Yeah. I don't know if they can get that, though. That's a Miami. That's a Miami don't need Tua if they've got Watson. And Miami needs Watson. Tua is not it. Miami, some reason Miami don't like him. They Tua. know he don't have what it's got takes. I mean, when you have to turn it into a 46-year-old guy to come in off the bench. Patrick. Something's wrong. Yeah. So I think that they're, that's what's going. I think that's what we're fixing to see. Are we fixing to serve dinner? Here in a little bit. Well, no, I don't think it's in a little bit. Ask Michelle how much longer we got. I think they're ready for us. I think so. We're getting cut off by the women. Life story. What'd she say? They're ready. Ring, ring the, the bell. Ring the bell. All right. All right. We gotta get. Thank y'all for listening here. to us. God bless y'all. Have a great day. Hold on, Blake. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Listen, go check out all of our sponsors. Foul Bandits, Sanford Hunting Outfitters, Gun Dog Outdoors, Dirty Duck Coffee, Dive Bomb Industries, Boss Shot Shells, Pacific Custom Calls, uh, Lucky Duck, Looking Glass Duck Club, William Chris Wines, 14 Cattle Company, Blind Grass Camouflage. Goodbye.